We are now logged in to the Wix website and we are ready to edit our Seneca R7 website. So as soon as you hit edit page, it takes you directly to this screen. Um, everything on this screen is editable. So I can move this little Indian head and I'm going to hit undo because I want it to stay where it was. <laughs> and any of these items are editable. So I can double click on anything that has text and then start editing it. And it, all your options are just like Microsoft Word, so you'll just have to play with it. There's different settings, you know, if you want your letters to be spaced out, if you want extra space between the lines, if you need to indent, um, all those kinds of things. So you can just kind of play with that and figure it out. Um, but everything on this page is editable. So it can all be moved. It can be deleted if you don't want it there. If you want a different icon here, then you could change it to a different icon. Whatever you want, it's all editable. So here's how the website works. The basic structure is what you're looking at right now is the desktop version of our website. So you would be editing everything that people would see when they look on the website in general, um, but especially if they're looking at the desktop version. Over here on the top left corner, you can switch to the mobile editor. So when I click on that, it gives me this little phone. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have an iPad uh, set, um, format yet. I mean, people can still view it on the iPad, but we don't have a way to edit how that looks. So it might look weird if you're on an iPad, um, but it's supposed to resemble the desktop version. But um, the major difference, oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> the major difference between the desktop version and the phone version when we're editing is that, and this is, it took me a long time to understand this, but when you're in the desktop editor, this is where you add content. So if you want to add anything to this page, if you want to change anything, so if I spelled activities wrong and I wanted to erase that and respell it, um, I would do that from here. If I wanted to add something, if I want to add a picture or um, a text box over here, if we had another news story to go under he here underneath this one, then I would have to do it from this page because this is the page that we use to edit. The mobile version, all you do is drag and drop what you need. So if at any time you are working with um, the mobile version, all you're doing is moving stuff. For example, this looks weird, and if I wanted to retype it and make it say September, I couldn't do that on this page. All I can do is I could stretch it out, and I can double click on this and I can change the sizing a little bit if I need to change the sizing, but I can't actually I can't actually edit the text. Nothing happens when I try to edit the text. Uh, you can delete things on here, so if there's anything that you don't want to see, then I can hit delete. Sometimes when you go on the mobile editor, you'll see that, you know, I'm looking through here and I've realized, oh no, my parent portal button is gone. So I have a student portal and I have uh, the teacher portal, but I don't see the parent portal anywhere. So over here on the left hand side, when I click add, I've never used any of these, but um, hidden items. So when I click on hidden items, I just scroll through right here. These are all items that are on this page, but they aren't showing on the mobile version. Because sometimes when you're making the mobile version of a website, you don't want everything from the desktop version just because it'll be really crowded. So that's why there's so many things on this list. Um, so I think the image that we're missing, I think this is it. So I'll just, I can kind of see the icon there. So I'll just click on this little set of eyes or I guess it's just an, a single eye. And then when I scroll down, it placed that somewhere. There it is. So hey, I'm glad it I'm glad it put it there because that, that'll help you learn something really quick. But I'm I'm done with that. So now I'm gonna move this icon. So I'm gonna pick it up maybe. Yep. So I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna move it up here. So there, now it's back. And sometimes when you make things unhidden, this thing happens. So all my icons shifted down. So in that case, you'll just click on the first one, hold down your control key, click on the second one, keep your control key held down, and click on the others. And now that it's a group, you can move it really quickly. So 
I don't want you guys to worry about the mobile version so much. Uh, I check it ever so often, uh, and if I see an error, then I go to fix it. But if you forget to change the mobile version, it's not a big deal because I'm, I'm constantly looking at that. So if I see that something's off, then I can fix it for you. But the main thing to remember about the mobile version is that if you ever create a new page, and I'm going to show that in a separate video, if you ever create a new page, you need to make sure that you edit the mobile version. Or if you get, like let's say you're on this page right here, and you move this Renaissance Place icon somewhere so that you can add a story right here, you always want to go into the mobile editor and make sure that it looks right on here. And then I actually ended up taking those new stories off of the mobile version just because I felt like it was so crowded. And I think I'm going to take this calendar off too. Um, I'm actually going to do that right now. Just because I felt, I feel like it, it's not really a mobile friendly version of that calendar anyway, so I, I don't really feel like it's doing anybody any good. So I'm just going to take it off of there. And so now we have all this, and I've got some extra space, but anyways, I'm not really worried about that. So anyways, that's the difference between the desktop version and the mobile version.